So right now we're sort of towards the end of the park. So there in the distance are essentially the white lions. Um, so they have quite a few at the place. And then with each line they basically have this information board. So like um, it shows in Athena the name, where it was born, and then there's a long list of donors that actually adopt and support the expense of obviously upkeeping these animals so the park itself is not that big i think within around about half an hour you can pretty much walk the entire park and a lot of the times the lions are actually just sleeping about like they're not very active so they each have essentially a plot of land then they have like a small wooden thing that they can sleep in some water and then from just chatting to one of the staffs we we're told that these lions are not fed every single day so i think they only get fed like on tuesdays and fridays at 4 p.m something so it's um so i suppose that is how it is in the wild you know these animals wouldn't eat every single day and also just chatting to one of the staffs it's quite evident to us that um this place was started um, because there's a demand for these so these animals some of them came from like peru and romania where there isn't actually a um rule or hard set rule against exotic animals or wild set animals so like one of the lion posters that we saw the um the lion was actually from abandoned zoo and then the other one the lion was sort of kept in uh on the eighth story building uh in peru where it was just being kept as an exotic animal and obviously when these animals or these lions are in that situation for years and years they lose that um, animal instincts and that's why no matter how much you rehabilitate these lions they can't be accepted back in the wild because in the wild they will be essentially in a pride or a pack and obviously these animals have been by themselves for so long they sort of lose that social aspect um, so it is quite good work that the Drakenstein Lion Park uh, guys are doing to sort of keep these lines, you know, up and about. And there's a lot of donations from overseas sort of trust to keep these animals here. So check out their website. If you want to donate, adopt one of them, you can do that. Uh, but yeah, really good work.